Hello, Flo Allen here with a bit weekly business update and the topic this week is you've got to feel it. What I mean by that is to develop your instinctive immersion, well to use instinctive immersion to develop your instincts. Instinctive immersion is a term I used in my business property with purpose and I'll share more about that with you in just a moment. Instinctive immersion was a concept I used to, I developed and shared in my property business, Property with Purpose, but more about that later. And we're going to talk about also what does this beautiful journal book have to do with the topic today? You've got to feel it. So what am I talking about? You've got to feel it. What I'm talking about is to listen to your emotions, to listen to yourself, to check that you're actually uh, pursuing and on the right track um, to pursue your the goals you actually want to achieve and not stuck in a negative downward spiral on the exact opposite. So I used to refer to this as instinctive immersion in a little bit of a different context in my property business, but it's the same principles applied in that you immerse yourself in this case goals in the property uh, business. It was referring to researching for your ideal property, but that is another conversation for another time, but it's still the same principle that applies in that you're in this case, daily reacquainting yourself and focusing on your goals, dreams and aspirations. And you do that through a range of rituals that you choose because that's what works for you. So, so for example, for me, it is um, writing in my gratitude journal, it's a meditation, it's visualisation and um physical exercise out in nature and um, stimulating my mind by um, new knowledge and um, education because education is a high value of mine as is travel. So I mentioned, I showed you this beautiful journal, it was given to me by a friend and colleague and she gave it to me for me to um, record my big ideas and I'm really excited because I'm developing an extension of one of my big ideas and so I'm packing this um, book because today I'm going on a business flight and I love travelling so I'm feeling very excited um, today. You need to decide just like you shower every day, just like you eat breakfast every day, do these normal daily rituals you have already in your life, you need to have daily rituals for um, to nurture your body, mind and soul. So I'm going to share what I did for myself today um, and that's not to say that's the only way and that's the, the right way by any um, shape or means but it's just to give you an example of what it might be like. So before I do that though I just want to share that the inspiration for the topic this week is a combination of experts that I listen to and follow. So this notion of setting a goal, associating it um, with a visual, the visualization of the result of the um, goal, then the, the, the feeling and the emotion, the outcome you feel once achieved that goal, I first learned from William White Cloud. And so that's what I'm talking about here is you want needing to feel where you're headed on a daily basis because then when you do achieve your goal, when you do come to that end result, it's instinctive, it's immediate and it feels familiar and it's uplifting and it's incredible. It's an incredible feeling and it just feels like magic, which is great. Um, Another person that's um, inspired me is particularly for the extension of my big idea is Roger Hamilton. So I listened to one of his webinars that I, I missed the live webinar, but I had the um, recording um, still waiting there for me to listen to. It's about five or six weeks old, but still it's talking about the future. So um, it was still relevant and I'll share about that in just a moment. So. With the daily ritual for me, I need to do my meditation my and I do gratitude in the mornings um, as well as in the evenings because I was reminded by watching a movie last night, The Abundance Factor, Factor about 21 
experts were talking about mindset and abundance and the law of attraction and the whole range of things and gratitude and those sorts of things. Um, and Bob Proctor suggested just take five to six minutes a day and that's to do your gratitude, to do, um, you know, send positive energy and love to those who are your, um, I can't remember what he, how, how he called it, that you're grumpy with or um, that's probably not his word, <laughs> that's mine, or someone that's in providing a challenge in your life and to send them love, um, which I thought was a beautiful thing to do. And then um, also one of the other experts on the movie suggested to write down three new gratitude points, so to create um, new points of gratitude in your life, which they went on to say that stimulates optimism, combats depression and anxiety and all those range of things. The daily ritual, so I'm talking about nurturing the soul with meditation and gratitude, um, which is also your mind. So it needs to be built into your day because if it's not built in, into your daily routine, we all get busy and it just doesn't happen. And I was also inspired by this because I have um, had a cold that's lingered on between three to four weeks between me and my son and I. So we're probably reinfecting each other. Um, but you know, I was doing some of these practices, but not all of them. So I'm just sharing with what I do, not because it's right, just to give you a real life example. So that's how I nurtured my soul this morning. Also nurturing both my body, mind and soul is walking out in nature, doing physical exercise out in nature. Because I'm not only um, working my body physically so I feel better and I'm healthier, but also I'm outdoors and I was walking while it, the sun was rising and so all the sky was changing and the colours everywhere, the light and everything was um, all different through the 40 minute walk I did this morning, which was um, beautiful and motivating and stimulating. Um, before I went for the walk, because it was too dark to go at 6am because it's winter here in Australia um, and I don't like walking in the dark because I'd much rather see the sun come up and change and inspire me with all those colours and um, shifts in nature. Um, I listened to a webinar that I've been meaning to listen to for the past probably five or six weeks but hadn't got around to it by Roger Hamilton talking about um, the future and where he believes um, we need to work towards. Um, he was giving an example that in 2006 that um, Facebook didn't exist as we know it now. It was being developed, but it wasn't the social community um, it is now. And that in the future, he was sharing his points of where he believed um, entrepreneurs need to move um, in the direction. So I was really inspired and really excited um, because I I could make direct application um, on some of those concepts immediately and it um, endorsed and um, reaffirmed the new structure I want to do with my events that that is the right, right way to go and that is moving with the times which is really exciting to have um, that um, endorsement I suppose. And so that was nurturing my mind so I'm really inspired and excited and it also gave me two more points where I've been umming and ahhing about developing in my business but um, I feel that there is indeed relevance and long-term relevance and therefore it's worth pursuing. So look at Out of the Box Biz Thinkers who are my members of my business, Out of the Box Biz. And so for today that's how I have nurtured my body, mind and soul. And so I can't remember the expert that said to nurture your mind, your soul and your body just like you do um, having a shower, brushing your teeth, eating um, breakfast, lunch and dinner etc. So it should be a part of your routine. So I encourage you to put these rituals, the right rituals for you into your daily routine so you can feel it, so you can check in and know what your intention is and if that is matching your goals, dreams and aspirations. Because if they are top of mind, then it's easy to navigate your way through the multitude of options and um, opportunities you come across on a, on a daily basis. So make sure you take the time and 
check in with yourself. So whether it's meditation, whether it's journal writing, whether it's um, visualization, whether it's um, checklists, whatever works for you, um, make sure you've got them into your um, daily routine. So you make sure you can feel it. And so therefore that instinctive feeling of when you do achieve your goal or when you do come on or, and across an opportunity it just feels so right and that's because you've trained yourself to focus on what's serving you and what's working for you and it makes it so much easier and so much more exciting and uplifting so shift those emotions and check in and make sure you're vibrating at a high level which means you're full of love joy and um, generosity and share it, share it with the world and that's my topic for this week you've got to feel it so please do like comment or share this video to those you believe it will resonate with and have a fantastic week